Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Laura, aka Glow with Lulu, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my base makeup um, for acne skin. So as you can see, I do struggle with acne a lot, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup without um, making the acne look too patchy or come through um, the foundation. Before I start with the video, I just want to quickly wish a Ramadan Kareem for everyone that's celebrating it. And I also hope that everyone's staying safe and healthy during this time. I haven't really been on here in a while. It's uh, been taking me um, some time to film. I did just finish my exams. So I have a lot more free time right now. Um, so I'm going to be dedicating that towards filming and also towards my Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, it's Glow with Lulu as well. I'll link it down below. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so to start off, um, I'm going to be starting off with primer, obviously. Um, priming is definitely very important when it comes to dealing with acne skin. Um, it can be hard to find a good primer for that because if you use something that's too matte, it might make the acne look patchy. And then if you use something that's too um, moisturizing or oily, then it might cause your makeup to move and slip around throughout the day. I like to go towards the more moisturizing um, primer route because my acne do tend to get patchy sometimes. So I want to use something that's moisturizing so that I can prevent that from happening. So what I've been doing is I've actually been mixing in two primers. I've been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and mixing in a bit of the uh, Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. Also, please excuse my nails. I know they look very bad right now. I did order some fake nails off of Amazon. So I'm waiting for those to come in, but right now they just look really, really bad. So <laughs> don't mind me. Okay, so I usually just put like three pumps of the uh, Smashbox box primer and I just kind of place that all around my face. Make sure you sanitize your hands before touching your face obviously. And I'll place the Makeup Forever um, primer kind of more on just on the cheek area. I don't really spread it too much all over the face. And then I just rub those in. Then usually I will leave it at that but then sometimes I like to go in with a pore filling primer just on my t-zone to help keep my pores and my oils at bay. I've just been using the Touche Club Blur Primer from Yves Saint Laurent. This is just like a little trial size that I have. I just place a little bit on my finger and then I rub that in and just really warm the product up and then I just apply that kind of like in my cheek area, my nose, my forehead and my chin. For foundation, I like to go for a more hydrating natural finish foundation. As an oily skin girl, I usually gear towards the matte foundations, but for this specific routine, I've been liking something a bit more moisturizing and hydrating, or it's just something that's going to look natural on the skin, not necessarily matte. Um, I've really been liking the Makeup Forever foundation for this step, but my ultimate favorite is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid foundation. This thing is amazing because it does have that natural finish and it does have that bit of hydrating quality, but it's also full coverage. It does have oil control throughout the day as well, so that's great for my oily skin. And it also has SPF in it, which is also a great thing to have in your foundation. And what I like the most about it is that the way it wears throughout the day doesn't make my um, acne look any more patchy or emphasize them in any way. The one I have right now is too dark for me at the moment. This is my summer shade. So I'm just going to be using like a little sample that I got from work before we closed, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I believe I sampled NC15 in this. I still have a little bit left. I don't know what I'm going to do once I'm out of it, but I'm just going to make do with it. So what I do is I'll usually get like a, the back of any brush, like really any random brush, just something with a bit more like width to it, I guess, something a bit fatter. And I will kind of just pick up the product and then I will like dot it around where my acne is or where my scarring is. Um, so like I have like a really big pimple right here. I'm really going to put a lot of product in this area and then I'm also going to cover up scars and nice thing about this way is that um one uh you're not like your brush is not soaking up any product so you're really getting the most of this product because like the back of a brush is not going to hold on to any product and um it's also not going to spread bacteria so it's really easy to clean them you don't have to worry about spreading the uh, bacteria of the acne all over the face 
All right, so um, the way, so basically this is very similar to kind of spot concealing, but instead of doing it with a concealer, you're doing it with a foundation. Um, and that way it looks a bit more natural. And then once I'm done kind of spotting everything that I need to spot, I just let it sit for a minute or two um, just to kind of let the product die, dry down a little bit because that way you're getting the most amount of pigmentation out of it. I like to use a bit more of a detailed buffing brush for blending the product into the skin. So what I've really been liking is this, this Smashbox Precise Highlighting Brush. It is a highlighter brush, but I really like it for this specific step. Yeah, and then once the product has been sitting on the skin for a bit, I just start with tapping motions and just blending it all around the skin. Wherever I have like the most um, breakouts, I focus the product there the most and then I just blend it all around so that it blends into the skin. And for this step, you want to make sure you're using a foundation that's exactly the same color as your face. So if your face is lighter than your than the rest of your uh, body, um, then make sure you're using something that is lighter. And the other reason why I like to use hydrating foundations over matte foundations for this technique is because they don't dry down as fast. So you have a bit more play time. But if you had a matte foundation to work with, then you would have had to blend that out instantly because they do dry down faster. It is a bit tedious to do this step with a bit of a smaller brush, but it really gives you the best results that way because you're not spreading the product all over the face you're really focusing it where you need it. Okay, so this is the base completely blended out. As you can see, it looks a lot more flawless than it did when I first started this tutorial. I'm gonna move on to the under eyes now. As usual, I'm gonna be going in with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in Light to Medium. And I'm going to pick this up with a Smashbox Blurring Concealer Brush. And for concealer, I've really been liking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. And this is in the shade Ivory 330. I just apply a little bit of this guy, not too much, just kind of like a small triangle. And I'm going to blend it out with my Fenty Beauty sponge. And then with whatever is left on the sponge, I just run that through my nose. And I also haven't been cream contouring as much. I've been straight I've been strictly using powder contour, so I'm just going to skip that step and then go right into uh, powder. For powder, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Butter. I start by setting the under eyes with the same sponge I was using for the concealer. And then for the rest of the face, I just use a big fluffy brush. This one is from It Cosmetics. And I use that to lightly just buff the powder into the skin. I don't like to apply too much powder because, again, we don't want the acne to look patchy. And then if I feel like there's still some pimples that are still peeking through after powdering the face, I go in with a powder foundation. This one is from Estee Lauder. It's their Double Wear Powder Makeup in 2-in-1 Desert Beige. I have it in this weird packaging because I got it for gratis, but you would usually get it in like a little compact. And then any small buffing brush will do, but you can just target this on any um, acne that you feel like is still peeking through. So for me, it's like these two guys, for example. Alright, before I finish off the base, I'm just going to quickly go do my eyes and then I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Eyes are done. I just did like a nice coral color with a bit of a um, pop of color in the inner corner. It's more of like a lime green highlight. If you're wondering what palette I use for my eyes, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. On to the rest of the base. So we still have a couple of more steps to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead with bronzing right now. You guys know my absolute favorite bronzer in the world is the Marc Jacobs Perfection Powder in 600 Cocoa. And I'm going to pick this up on a Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. And then for blush and highlight, I don't really have like a specific blush and highlight that I always use or that's my holy grail. 
um, I really just tie it into what I'm feeling that day or what eyeshadow look I'm wearing and stuff like that. So for this eye look, I feel like the Smashbox Ablaze Face Palette would work really well for this. They have a really nice orange blush in there as you can see right here. And I also really like their highlighter so I'm going to be using these two as my blush and highlight. For blush, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. I just love how bright and orange this blush is. It's literally one of my favorite blushes. And I know this was like a limited edition palette, but I really hope they release this blush in a single because it is literally one of my favorites. For highlight, I'm going to pick it up with a Sephora Pro Highlight Brush. This is also one of my favorite highlighters. It is a bit too dark for me right now because I am pretty fair, but in the summertime, it's the perfect highlight for me. Alright, and then last up, some setting spray. I've really been liking this Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. It's really nice and matte. It does make my skin feel a little bit tight when I first apply it, but that feeling goes away after a couple of seconds. And if you have oily skin, you're really going to like this because it makes your makeup stay intact all day long and you do not get oily it really does a great job at holding in your oil so if you have oily skin i highly recommend this and it's affordable as well so i'm just gonna apply a bit of lip gloss this is the mac lip gloss in the shade spice all right and that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did then please make sure to subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and turn the notification bell on so that you can get notified every time that i post once again, I just want to make sure that you guys are all staying home, healthy, and safe during this time of quarantine. And I hope to be able to make a lot more videos now that I'm done school and have a lot of more free time to work on some videos and some tutorials for you guys. Also, feel free to let me know if you would like to see any specific tutorials from me. Um, just leave that in the comments down below. And yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!